How's it going you guys? Yep, it's a beautiful Vancouver day out here and uh, we're gonna do today's video a little bit day in the lifestyle. So behind me here, I have my trusty old vacuum sander, which I'm gonna be using for not the last time, but it's definitely not gonna see much more use. Anyways, let's take a look at this old guy. So yeah, it's just the old Richards vacuum sander. I think it goes by Hyde in the US. I've been using this whenever I've got a small drywall job to sand and I don't wanna make a mess. These are the best pads for it. They don't really scratch it up or leave that mesh grid. Just gotta watch out that they don't get little folds like that in them. I better get to the job. We're gonna set up, get sanding. Not only that, I gotta get out of this parking lot because I haven't paid for it. I just wanted to intro the video here. Alright, well that was fun. Uh, fortunately those kids have seen my other channel, my skateboard channel, so it wasn't just like some totally random 39 year old man yelling at them. That would have been pretty weird. Anyways, I am at the job and it's time to get started. So, you know, let's get up there. Alright, so I've called this channel Vancouver Carpenter for, you know, like three years and I never show you Vancouver and we're not even going to get into the fact that I never show you carpentry. Anyways, let's check out the view in this place. So we got one of these tiny little balconies. There you can see the North Shore Mountains just peeking out over there. It's cold and windy today. There's Kingsway Street. Out there's the west side of Vancouver. You know, way out there. Anyways, this is this beautiful city that I've grown up in. Honk honk. And what we are dealing with today, no, we are not dealing with you. <laughs> what we're dealing with is a patch here today. So in typical Vancouver Carpenter fashion, um, yeah, I've turned a molehill into a mountain. So it did not need to be done this big. It was a pretty small little thing. A bunch of paper just sort of ripped off the wall and then a repair was done a little too thick and painted. So I could have maybe sanded it all down and then not feathered out so big. The reason I did this though is what happens when you have a repair where all the paper is damaged and where there's going to be a bunch of blisters and it's already painted over. So of course, yes, like I said, I could go way down into all of it and tear up the paper more and expose all of the blisters. Or what I did on this one is I chose to just do a big, you know, thick, like not super thick, but like a spread out coat of quick set, 20 minute. So then that sets up and then the blisters can't come through the 20 minute. And then I did a coat of all purpose over top. Also, we've got this window over here casting light down this wall. So this really does have to be smooth. So why not go wide? So the fact is for me to do two coats over top of this wall took me so much less time than to have to like scrape it all down and repair it and then spray something on there to make sure that the moisture from the mud doesn't cause blisters. So, while it may look like I did a lot more work, the fact is I'm actually doing a lot less work and faster. All right, so we're all set up here. I got some 150 on here, but it's nice and burned down. And again, I've got that light shining right across from the window, so I'm gonna be able to see everything here. So um, this is gonna take a long time. It's definitely gonna be time for a quick little montage. All 
All right, we are almost done here, but there's gonna be one last little finishing touch, which uh, you guys might think I'm crazy, but notice how we have, again, the raking light coming in here. And because I sanded vertically, you can see these lines really easily. So we're even gonna go one real quick little extra step. I'm gonna do a quick pass horizontally to get most of my lines all going that direction and you're not even gonna be able to see the sanding lines then. So thinking about the direction of the light is critical. You know, that's something I haven't talked about too much in my videos, but I'm always looking at where is the light coming from and how is it gonna cast a shadow on my work. You want to know one thing I'm not going to miss about this? It shocks me all the time. It gets crazy static charges. Oh, of course I forgot my sanding sponge and have to go back down to the van. So close to done. Just got to make sure that edge is burned in properly. Maybe I'll bring you guys up close so you can see what I'm talking about. Although the camera doesn't often register. But it's really hard to get the edge actually sand it into the existing paint with uh, a pole sander. You really got to use a sponge to get that last little bit. Let's see. We do have good lighting. Maybe you guys can see it. So right there. You really got to kind of push hard on that edge to make it so that it's really blended in. Not like right there because that edge will show for sure. It is filming? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's good, because what I was going to say is, yeah, I'm sanding super lightly right here, and all the dust just falling straight down. And I made sure to close all the windows, because as a young apprentice, actually, I think I was already ticketed, but anyways, the point is, I was on a job, and we were doing this bathroom reno, and what happened was we were removing, like, dozens, well not dozens, like three or four layers of uh, drywall and plaster and it was a house that had multi units in it. So upstairs was a separate suite. So what we did was we ripped all this stuff out and it was so dusty in there so we opened a window and what ended up happening is the draft from the open window pulled all of the dust up through the ceiling into the unit, into the residence unit in the top of the house. So we dusted their entire house with like nasty old plaster dust. And um, yeah, we weren't even working in our unit, but that's how much airflow can affect uh, the dust situation. So I always have windows closed when I'm sanding. That's just how I do it. And we are almost done. Yeah, yeah. Time for coffee and a skate. All right, you guys should check out the, uh, what do you call it? Is this a foyer or something of this building? It's got sort of like an industrial kind of like colorful prison look. Like, you know when you see the prison riots in all those movies? Totally reminds me of that, except that I think I'm on the 15th floor. So yeah, cool look. All right, quick coffee break from Milano. So if I could have a coffee sponsor, it would be Milano. So these guys are a nice little roaster nestled away kind of close to downtown in Vancouver and uh, they do my favorite coffee by far. Their coffee is a lot better than their tile setting. <laughs> Let me know in the comments your favorite Vancouver coffee spots. Excuse me. All right, I got to get going here and I shouldn't be talking with my mouth full. Got to meet up with uh, my buddy Adriana. We're going to go have a session at UBC.
part of the day. Fun run, fun run. All right, you guys, that was a super fun session. But um, yeah, in typical vlogger fashion, I've left the actual subject of this video to the very end. Why am I replacing my vacuum sander? What could possibly take its place? It's been so great. Well, um, get a load of this. What do we have right here? We have a vacuum, Ugh. a Festool. So yes, um, a 12, hundred dollar vacuum right here actually I think more in Canadian so um, there's a tool that goes with that let's see what it is okay oh. yeah there we go it's a Festool Planex you guys so um, yeah you can expect to see this coming up a lot in the content what do we got here yeah Good old Festool Planex. Actually, it's not a good old one. It is the new one. Uh, it's got that new light ring around it. So I'm super excited to try this. This was sent to me by Festool. Um, you know, I'm pretty excited that they chose me among a bunch of other people to actually ship these out to. And um, the other thing that was really cool is they actually don't have a whole bunch of things. They're not like, you have to say this, you have to do that. They're just like, they sent it to me. They hope it makes its way into my content, which it surely will. And uh, yeah, that was it. So take a look at this thing. What is that, a good like eight inch sanding head, at least eight inches. But um, yeah, I don't know, we can't even get into all this right now. Uh, but you're probably wondering, you're probably wondering, Ben, you just filmed a sanding video and you had a plain X and you didn't use it. Yeah, so here's why. Because I have used a Festool plain X before in the past, the older model, and they're super powerful and they definitely take uh, some getting used to it. So I do not have the hang of it and the last thing I was going to do is take this really powerful tool that I don't know how to use to my finished work because guaranteed I was going to mess something up and have to code it again. However, hopefully later this week I've got a job that I'm going to be starting, just a little bathroom job, and I'm going to be able to sand some, uh, at the very least sand my first coat with this tool. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've also got some ceiling projects coming up, so some skimming out ceilings that I'm really looking forward to using this on. But yeah, there's gonna be a learning curve and I will try to film and post every time I use it so we can see what the learning curve is like, what the finished product is like. Anyways, that's the news. That's the big exciting news. Uh, look forward to using it soon. My kids are home, so this video is done. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you're a skateboarder, we had a special guest in there. Uh, hopefully you saw who that was and figured it out. Hopefully you enjoyed the content today. I know it was a little bit different than what I usually do. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of this kind of vlog style stuff, let me know. I'm not going to stop doing the other videos, but I did have fun just sharing my day and you know the types of things I do on a daily basis. Anyways, thanks for watching you guys. Till the next video. Hope you're doing well out there.